Avery had just finished a record-breaking journey to the South Pole when he learned about Robert Peary's controversial 1909 expedition to the North Pole. The more I read about it, the more I was struck by just the controversy up there. We still didn't really know who was the first guy to get to the North Pole. The controversy centers on Peary's claim that he and his team, an African American assistant named Matthew Henson, and four native Inuit guides, were able to travel to the geographic North Pole in just 37 days. Skeptics have long doubted Peary could reach the pole so quickly. Avery decided to set up a team to retrace Peary's historic journey using the same techniques and equipment that the American explorer had used in 1909. I'd basically decided, look, if we could travel the same route, use the same breed of dog that they did, and built replica sleds on their designs, and see how long it would take us to get there, then we might go a long way to finding out the answer. Avery and his team of four people and 16 sled dogs set out on what they predicted would be a difficult and dangerous journey to a forbidding wilderness. The North Pole is a living, breathing thing. The Arctic Ocean it moves around with the currents. You have these enormous ridges that form before your very eyes. It splits apart, so you have open water to deal with freezing cold temperatures because you want to travel in the winter when it's sort of held in frigid suspension. So minus 40, minus 50 degrees is is very much the norm up there. After completing the 800-kilometer journey to the North Pole in record time, Avery says the team felt a mix of relief that they had survived their toughest expedition and joy over beating Peary's time. Avery says he's more convinced now than ever that Peary's team was the first to reach the pole. And not only the fact that we beat their time, but we've got a real insight into how they navigated and how they traveled, and with the equipment that they had, I had no doubt at all. That they reached the pole. Peary's grandson Ed Stafford says Avery's journey is further confirmation of his grandfather's accomplishment. There have been, I think, I counted five complete, full-scale investigations of his expedition. Every single one, in the end, comes out Peary did exactly what he said he did. Gilbert Grosvenor, whose National Geographic Society backed some of Peary's expeditions, agrees. Tom Avery proved that you could do that. He'd be his time,、uh, and and I think that takes away a little bit of the argument that Peary didn't make it. Avery's 2005 record-breaking expedition has been chronicled in his new book, To the End of the Earth. The North Pole is often called the Horizontal Everest, and it's without doubt the toughest expedition of my life. And I think it would be very hard to beat, and particularly the whole. Reenactment of Peary and Henson's expedition. While Peary's claim might always remain in dispute, Tom Avery says he and his teammates will recall their accomplishment with great affection for the rest of their lives. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.